Honestly, um, if someone asks me what, what I do, I always say I take the poo from someone else and put it in, I take the poo from someone and I put it in someone else, simplistically. <laughs> So I don't talk about this stuff at barbecues. <laughs> no, I, look, we, we, we do talk about this stuff at barbecues, but usually when people aren't eating. Um, when people think about uh, gut conditions, it's a better key. Um, and so usually the first question is, how do you do a job like that? The truth is, um, it's like any medical job. People have diseases and conditions um, and people need to be treated. Um, so how do we talk about fecal microbiota transplant or a poo transplant? Um, I say in the same way that Amy <laughs> says it. Um, we take healthy people, we take their poo uh, and we transplant it into someone who has a disease with the hope that it would change their condition. I share it to everyone. <laughs> person behind the register that's doing my groceries. Did you know about FMT? I literally share it with everyone. People that don't want to know, I share it with them. Everybody needs to know about FMT, it's amazing. Um, I call it the super poo. You ha have to add humour onto ulcerative colitis, unfortunately. It's not glamorous, it's painful, it's debilitating. So you can look at it like that, which for a long time I did. You know, you go into a bit of a downward slope and you don't talk about it at all, and that's really bad for me. And she's got a great sense of humour as well when she, when she was going through the treatment. Yeah. She'd send me pictures of herself in the bathroom with a mask and everything nice. on, uh, with a funny quartz attached to it. Breaking Just, Bad. Yeah. Mm. yeah, that was the one. Breaking Bad yeah. Part 1, Breaking Bad Part 2. <laughs> and I call them poop shakes because you have to shake the poop. So you put a teaspoon of the poop in the bottle and you shake it and it dissolves, therefore it is a poop shake. And Scott used to leave me, which is my donor, which is also my husband, he used to leave share me share packages. So he'd message me and be like, there's a package in the fridge. I'd be like, package received. <laughs> and I would know what he'd eaten and what does and yes. doesn't so dissolve. So he, he couldn't lie to He's, him when yeah, he had no, <laughs> He's not allowed corn and he was not allowed mushrooms because did you know mushrooms don't digest at all. It looks like stones. Well, they didn't eat it all that. It's great. Yeah. You poo, we poo, I poo too. That's my hashtags if you want to look them up. Um, we all poo and it's natural and it needs to be talked about more because it, should, it just shouldn't be a taboo. We all do it. And I'll say to people, oh, you know, I've got ulcerative colitis. Oh, I know a friend that has that. Or I know mm. da, da da that has that. And the amount of people that you will know that have um, inflammatory bowel disease is amazing. So we talk about having asthma, we talk about having eczema, why aren't we talking about having ulcerative colitis and Crohn's?